There's obviously some carry on over here. Just give me a sign that you got that. Sleep farm repeat. <laughs> Good morning, sheep fans. This is uh, oh, Cammy's your name. Sheep's the game. Must be tired this morning. This is uh, day five of the lambing vlogs that I'm trying to do. Hopefully, I've been keeping up so far. I've not got to the editing stage yet, so hopefully, I'm managing to keep up. It's a uh, half five in the morning. It's zero degrees. A frosty night like this isn't really an issue for young lambs. It's more when you get a lot of rain and wind, that's when lambs get a chill. But it's a nice, still, really like a lovely morning, kind of morning I really like. And any lambs born last night should be fine. But we're about to find out. Okay, so we're at the field. We've got Meg. Had to go and pick her up from my mum. How do I do this with this bag? What a beautiful morning. Got the head torch on just in case I need a closer look at anyone's back end. See there's a ewe licking a lamb so that must be a fresh one this morning. We'll see it in a second. She's away up at the back there. Good set of twins. That was the first set born in here. Absolute nailers last. Well done. Look at the size of them. Full of milk. Tremendous. There's obviously some carry on over here. These two in a pile. Sheep love to do this. I'm guessing that the well, first thoughts is the white faced sheep here has lambed. And the other one's stealing, but I've not actually seen their back ends. Look at this beautiful fresh pair. Although I would expect the white faced sheep to have white faced lambs. No, the white faced sheep hasn't lambed. She's actually achieved it, I don't know why she's here. Right, you have lamb last. Yep. That makes more sense when you look at the lambs. Good meal you, look at that man, love that. She's actually one she's a homebred sheep. One crop. So one crop essentially means she'll be three years old this spring. Oh man, she's just an side of the time. Hey, that's enough. She's keen there. Eh? Now this is quite off the sign. I'm doing wee side steps here. Just tired her out a bit. This is quite off the sign that um, she's going to lamb very soon, so I'd expect her to lamb today. But it's not always the case. But this is what we call like pinching or stealing, and it's when their mothering instincts get so strong that they just want to mother a lamb which is absolutely amazing, like nature's just incredible Now you make! Now you make! I had to shout Meg over as she comes, probably scare the rest of them eating their dinner but I need a hand here Are you back off? Hey! Hey! I can do this all day. I need to get a little pen in here so I can deal with things like this. Hello, Meg. Hello, Meg. There you go. Hello, Meg. Hello, Meg. Ah, that's good. How are we all there? Right, lie down. Lie down. Good dog. Right. That might distract her for a bit. Right, lass. Uh, I meant to say to you, uh, fantastic lambs. Great work and it's great to see. Infrastructure already, like, ah! I just love this, like, things like this, like, just, oh, I had to put my light off. That's just, I, I'm gonna say this all lambing time, but, like, just things like this, on a beautiful morning like this, outside, on the grass, two good sized lambs spat out, they're already up on their feet trying to get a sook. Just, ah, just beautiful. One difference with uh, lambing outside as opposed to lambing inside. 
is that it's not so easy just to make sure the lambs are getting a good suckle because obviously the ones inside you're seeing them all the time you'll know straight away if they're not whereas these just get checked at regular intervals and the easiest way really is if you get near the sheep and the lambs are up and running with her there's not much to worry about beautiful I didn't get very far she's back oh. Not as simple as I made it. I doing? I doing? Walk up. Walk up. I doing? Come by. I doing? I doing? Come by. That's fine. Right. I'm thinking. Either walk them away down there. I'll see if we can just walk them away a wee bit quietly. Why do Nelly Meg? Nelly Meg? Nelly Meg? Nelly Meg? Right, I'm not saying that's going to work. She might come back and cause a nuisance. But we'll be back past here in about an hour, so we'll deal with it then. Maybe not the best way to deal with it. What I could have done is actually put them through that gate over there into a field but the fence isn't very good so they just come back through as they please anyway so we'll see their way down there so with the, the cheviots the mules you can bring the dog in and they're quite quiet but the cheviots are just wild so I'm going to ask Meg to just wait there just now Meg and I'll shout you if I need you okay yep just give me a sign that you got that yep no you're gonna, you're gonna jump out and follow me straight away. No, I'm just asking. Like it'd be good to know, to know now, and then I would say like, don't do that. Right. Okay. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think she might just lie down. Right. Okay. Hopefully she stays up. Right. Over the gate again. Oh. Don't slip. Are oh, you do serious damage? Lie down. Just keep reassuring her. Lie down. I will be back for you. Lie down. Okay, what a morning. Have a look at this. Now for anyone that's new to the videos, these ones here, these are North Country Cheviots. They are in lamb to a traditional Blue Face Leicester. A traditional Blue Face Leicester is a Blue Face Leicester with a Blue Face, believe it or not, because there are two types of Blue Face Leicester these days. And the other type is not even blue faced. It's all broken faced. And really, in a situation like this, when I come into Lamming Field just to get a look about, I'm really looking round the edges, looking for anything standing by itself, looking suspicious. Uh, over here, we have a single and a set of twins. Now, none of these sheep are scanned, so there will be some in here that aren't lambing at all. But that's uh, beautiful, that single looks quite fresh. In an ideal world, you would have a quad bike and you would just have the dog in the back of the quad bike. And sheep don't get worked up the same on a quad bike. Whereas if you're on foot on a field like this with a dog, they realise something is happening and uh, the dog's there to do a bit of work. Whereas if the dog's sitting up on the bike, they don't worry so much. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. As always, thanks to Crystalix for supporting my lambing videos. I absolutely trashed this bucket trying to throw it over the burn and failing miserably. And the burn's down a bit now, I think I could jump it a lot easier now. It was quite embarrassing. Nothing lambing here. So let's go and see how Lizzie and Murray are getting on at the shed. Okay, so a few things happened yesterday. I missed a day, as I said, because there was a way crutching. I go away for one day and we've got this sheep tied up and the next one's Fantastic halter, mate. Oh, yeah, I'll give him, I'll give Murray that. We had to Google it, but we, we got it on. Yeah, no, I actually like this halter thing. Um, I, I was skeptical about letting her off, but. Um, but she's taking them? Well, I think she's letting them both drink. What is, the, what is the background here, Lizzie? Please tell Either us. They're like pretty much 100% both her lambs. Pretty much 100%? Is that I wasn't like hit, I wasn't hit. Uh, no, more than that, but like 99%. 99? Okay. Well, it's either that or the single, so it's yeah, not the no. single. But she seems to not like one, so not silly. 
So we had to tie her up. So she didn't like one of her lambs? Oh, it's her own lamb. Yep. So we've tied her up and... Um, now she likes them both. I let her off to eat this morning, because mm -hmm. that's fair. Yep. And I haven't tied her back up, and at the moment she seems like she's calmed down a bit. Yep. She does hasn't she, eaten her food either. Does she she eat? was an eater. She was eating yesterday. So she ate she, yesterday? I think she's a little bit pissed off that she got tied up all night. Okay. She's revolting. Now, just people are going to ask, you know, why, why are you tying the sheep up? So uh, if you just... Stand back a wee bit from the light there, just so a bit of look at you. I don't like being yourself. on the camera. No, that's okay. Hey, could you just tell us why you tied her up? Oh, I had to stop her um, butting and being nasty to her lambs. So she was butting her lambs? Oh, that means they can't drink, and then if they can't drink, they won't survive. Yeah, that's correct. And what, how does tying them up help? Oh, I just stops her getting her head round to them, like... <clears throat> yes, but how, how does she all of a sudden, after being tied up, take her lamb? Oh, because the, the milk goes through the lamb and it smells like her. And then um, she likes it. Is that the reason? I think so. No? It makes sense to me. I don't know. I just... what, else do you, what else would you think of it? Oh, I, don't, I honestly don't know. She just gets used to the lamb no, suckling. Nah, yeah, because she's she letting one suckle. Yeah. She didn't like the other one, did she? Yeah. Maybe she didn't like the feel of its tongue, but now she's used to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've had some breakfast. The lambs that we are wrong are all much better now. They're all quite happy, as I say. Five, ten minutes, and they're as good as new. So we're going to get them in the trailer, get them out to the grass. Thought I'd better introduce you to young Murray here. Let me just try using my microphone like a wee interview thing. So uh, so Murray, he's going to be in the video a bit. He's only here for a week, because then he's got uh, other jobs to do, is that right? Aye. What are you doing, working with James? Yeah. Okay. So Murray, Murray will be, uh, he's not used to being on the camera. He's been on once before. And he actually... three of your videos? Are you in three of them? I'm Look at quite keeping up. track. Keeping mm -hmm. track. Um, but he's, he's quite a, a strong Ayrshire dialect on him, but he can put an effort in sometimes to speak clearly for you guys. Is that right? I'll try. I'll try it. Good man. He's been well brought up on his father's side. You know, his father's a good influence on him. His mother, not so much. But uh, no, I, I joke. I joke. She's a good woman. Um, so, right, Murray, you're going to give us a hand because obviously Lizzie's pregnant. And it's good because Murray and Lizzie can go. Lizzie knows where everything is and the jobs that need doing. So she can go with Murray and get Murray to do the donkey work and just like. Do that only way with James. Ah, he's just it. He's just it. It's part of being a boy in farming. You get all the, the boy jobs, essentially. Now, I don't know if this is happening to you guys or it's just my little screen looking back at me that I can see this, but my hair looks like a halo the way the sun's hitting it. It's, you see that? You see that there on the screen? My hair looks fantastic, doesn't it? Oh, jeez. Oh. What? Halo. Ah, but how good, but how good is my hair looking? You can admit if it looks good, Murray. You don't need to be like this. I thought mine was bad. Yours is bad. You're right there, but mine's as good. I should have known better. Remember this setup this morning? We had this cheviot trying to pinch lambs off of this mule. She's back here being an absolute bloody nuisance. So we're going to try and shut her through that gate over there like I should have done this morning. What a day to be born though, beautiful. Right, I want her to go up that way. Walk up. Lie down, lie down. Walk up. Lie down. Walk up. Lie down. Walk up. Lie down. Walk up. Lie down. Lie down. We, we, lie down. Lie down. Come by. Come by. Shh. Lie down. Walk up here. She was like that this morning. Walk up here. Walk up. Walk up. Lie down. Walk up. Lie down. Lie down. Come by. Lie down. Come by. Lie down. Come by. Lie down. Lie down. We. Lie down. Lie down. Walk up. Lie down. Walk up. Lie down. Come by. Lie down. Lie down. We. Lie down. We. Lie down, lie down. Walk up. Lie down, lie down. 
need to give her her time because if you force her she'll just try and fight with you. Let her make the decision rather than forcing her into it. Come by. Lydun, Lydun! Hey! One last. Don't resist. That's you. Good. Always easier if you just let them do it themselves. Good dog, Meg. Another job we have on today actually is Mr. Love, the neighbour here, has uh, been wintering one of my tups and an old black AU of mine that I actually thought someone <laughs> I actually thought someone had pinched it because I couldn't find them in any of the fields, but I didn't check this field. Or maybe I drove past and never saw it, but he phoned me the other day. But I had, I had, to be fair, I hadn't even noticed them until he phoned me and said they were there and then looked over and say, oh yeah, so they are. So, right, we'll shut her out of here. I don't know if that will help. We'll just go this way, Murray. I don't know if it'll help shutting her down there because she can actually get through the fence just further down, but it takes her away a wee bit. And once the lambs get a bit older and wiser, you know, they only need a day, really. They know who mum is and that won't be an issue, but when they're newborn like that, they really suckle on anything that's nearby. So we've split her off and hopefully she'll just stand at the fence here and try and get to them. That way she can't actually get through. It'd be very clever of her if we come back and she's back in there with them. Fair play, might just give her one then. Nah, just kidding. Hey, uh, tell me your name there, uh, sheep farmer. Robbie. Robbie. Uh, is, this, is this your place, Robbie? Well, we live here. Yeah. Yeah, so it's your farm, is that right? Yeah. Is it quite good being a big time farmer? Yeah. yeah. What's uh, some of the best things about being a farmer? Well, just my favourite part is, well, being kind of, well, doing farm stuff, really. Yeah? Yeah. Some lad, hey, he's got the right attitude, this boy grafter, rolls those, uh, those hay bales there, he'll just roll them end over end. Takes some ages, but it's the graft, that's the main thing. And uh, Robbie, we we're just talking there off camera about this week's lolly. Um, it's quite a, a thing here in Scotland today, it's about uh, 9 degrees, so we're all really feeling the heat. Um, it's one of the perks of being Scottish, as soon as there's a little bit of sun, you just feel like summer. Taps off, we would say here, which means tops off. Um, so, are you asking me if I want a nice lolly, Robbie? Yeah. Yep. Are you going to ask me? Yeah. Right. W would you like a nice lolly? Good man, yes, I'd love a nice lolly. You're some man. Legend, that boy, I tell you. Legend. It's his birthday soon, actually. Birthday on Tuesday. Exciting. Time. What does your t-shirt say? Eat, sleep, farm, repeat. Some man. Some man. That's it, just take your time. So yeah, just any anything that's lambing just now. Yeah. Yes. That's it. Jacob here. That one's always just really weird. It is, it's just a weird looking sheep. It's just a weird looking sheep. Right, nothing lambing, that's okay. Yep. We'll get the feeding done and get finished for the night. Hi. You love farming? That's good, isn't it? When I, up, when I go off, I might be a farmer, so... Are you going to be a farmer? It's a, a big week for Robbie this week. Why is it a big week this week? Your birthday, and when's your birthday? April the 6th, I think it is. Okay, and what day is that? Tuesday. And how old are you going to be? Seven. Seven. So how old does that mean you are just now? Six. Ah, you're clever. You're clever. Good man. Anyway, I think we've covered enough for another day. We'll get them all fed up, get finished for the night, and we'll see you again tomorrow morning. Thanks, sheep fans. <laughs>